I'm excited to test all my batteries to actually see which one of these is the best and how much. Some of these batteries are taken under the hood, others have been in storage, but all of them are now fully charged, maintained and some of them even restored, so that they have the best chance to compete against each other with this battery dyno. How this battery dyno works is that we basically short positive and negative battery to terminal through this container with this kind of steel ribbon. Two one meter pieces folded and connected to the ends by bolts. There is jumper connection at the end and this allows us to change with three different loads. Easiest load to battery is through both of these ribbons in series. Medium load through only one side and hardest about 400 amps in parallel connection. Whole thing is submerged in the water to keep the ribbons cool. This is battery dyno bench setup. Here you can see battery voltage. Higher it remains under load the better. And real time amperage that battery gives out with this DC clamp meter. We are ready to go, but with the final voltage check this poor ampat battery is already out, zero volts. What is interesting is that both this ampat and that blue water were sorted in my trunk couple of days before I noticed, and then both were restored same way, but it seems that this ampat could not make it. But now we see how well this water is going to do. There's going to be three rounds with harder load each time. Weakest battery will be dropped out. Let's start round one. First, Varta Blue Dynamic D24. This was restored after the short in my trunk. Not bad, considering how well that ampat did. But we will see how this compares to the others. This old handcook has been in storage after taken out of parts car. Not great voltage and amperage dropped quite much at the end. Newest battery taken out of use. Not a premium battery, this was at 60 euros at the new. This red carbon battery is almost the same than that blue carbon battery. I think it is probably one model older than the blue carbon battery. This one was only 30 euros at sale. Also about year older than the blue carbon, but seems to keep up nicely. Last battery is this 70 amp hour basic Vart. For a long time this was at use on my Golf until replace it with that red carbon battery. And all the results are in for the round one. Newest battery was the best. Restored Varda Blue Dynamic holding great and the Hankook was the weakest. Round two, medium load, so using only other side of the tester that means doubling the load to the battery. Looks like we are started to get more amps out. About 250 amps in 10 volts, that is 2.5 kilowatts of power. Next, red carbon keeps voltage higher. Blue carbon slightly more voltage and amps, over 3 kilowatts peak power at the start. <sighs> Lastly, this Varta, 
seems to struggle and the voltage drops more compared to the others than with the last test. Here is round 2 results. And 70 amp hour Varta is the weakest. For the round 3, both ends are connected together so that the ribbons are parallel to the battery terminals. This is the heaviest load. This old Varta has been doing surprisingly good, but will it get 400 amps? Voltage is all around the place, but yes, there is over 400 amps. Red carbon, much steadier voltage for some reason, and pushing out good amperage also. Blue carbon should do the best, we will see. 450 amps at the start, voltage is steady, will it go under 9.5 volts? Great result. Here is the results for the top three batteries. Both carbons did great, surprisingly old blue dynamic did also good well, despite the mishaps I had with this battery. Clamps did heat up quite much. What is the takeaway for this test? I would say that even new Jeep battery is probably better than 5 to 10 years old battery. But in the other hand, that blue water showed that quality battery still can be good after many years, where the cheaper batteries fail sooner. Much depends with old batteries is how are they used and maintained. My last video was exactly about that. This was fun, fun experiment for now. Thanks for watching.